Hello, my name is Magnus Peterson. These are just some extra comments on tutorial number seven on the inception model. And as you may remember, the inception model was not very good at recognizing people. And I thought this might be a problem in the data set that was used to train the inception model. And I will now show you that that was indeed the case. You might remember that the inception model worked well at classifying images of a parrot. The inception model was almost completely sure that this image shows a so-called Macau, which is a kind of parrot. It gave it the score 97.38%. The data set that was used to train the inception model is called ImageNet. And it contains more than 14 million images. And they have made a website where you can search the data set for images of a certain class. So the address is this, and I have also written it below this video, so you can just click the link. And let's enter Macau here and click search. And then we click here, and then we get a whole list of images. So the inception model was trained using these images. And that is why when it sees this image, it says, oh, it looks sort of like those images I have seen here. So I'm pretty sure it's a Macau. But the inception model had problems classifying images with people in them. So this is a picture of Elon Musk. And the inception model said that it thought it was a sweatshirt with a score of 19.73%, or maybe it was an abaya, which is a Muslim female dress, and the score was 16.82% for that. So let's go over to the ImageNet database and have a look at sweatshirt. So what we see here are people wearing sweatshirts, like this guy here, or this woman here. The classes in the ImageNet dataset are actually a hierarchy. So the sweatshirt is classified under an artifact, then under covering, then under clothing, then under garment, then under sweater, pullover, and sweatshirt. And the full description of this subcategory is cotton knit pullover with long sl sleeves worn during athletic activity. But first of all, this picture of Elon Musk, he is wearing probably some kind of, kind of jacket, so it's not even a sweatshirt, and when we see this as a human, we say, this is a man or this is a person. We don't think of this as being a sweatshirt. Or even if the inception model had said this was a jacket, that is also kind of ridiculous because this is a man wearing a jacket. So let's look at another example. This is Gene Wilder portraying Willy Wonka. And here the inception model said that this was a bow tie with a score of 97.22%. So the inception model was very certain that this image shows a bow tie. And that is also correct. There is a bow tie in the image, it's right here. But as a human, you would say, this is a man wearing a bow tie. So let's go to the ImageNet dataset and see some of the images for the bow tie that was used to train the inception model. So here we have some of the images in the ImageNet database that are classified as a bow tie. There's a man here wearing a bow tie. And here we just have the bow tie by itself with no person. And here the description for this class is a man's tie that ties in a bow. But if we look at the images, some of these are people wearing bow ties and others are just the bow ties by themselves, like this one or like this one. Once again, ImageNet uses a hierarchy of classes. So the bow tie is actually a subclass of artifact, covering, clothing, garment, neckwear, necktie, and finally bow tie. So a human being who sees a picture like this would say, this is a man wearing a bow tie, or maybe this is a man wearing a tall hat, or something like that. But because the inception model has been trained on data where the person is ignored in the classification, it only says that, oh, this is a bow tie. So the inception model doesn't really give us the answer that we expect, even though it's very good at recognizing what is in the image. And here we have Johnny Depp portraying Willy Wonga. And here the inception model said that it thinks the image shows sunglasses or sunglass. There were two very similar classes here. So let's go to the ImageNet database again and see some examples of those two classes. So first we have the class for sunglass which is described as a convex lens that focuses the rays of the sun used to start a fire. That is completely false. These images show sunglasses that people wear on their eyes to protect them from the rays of the sun, not a magnifying glass which outdoors people use to start a fire in the woods when they are camping or something like that. Let's look at the other class called sunglasses, dark glasses or shades. 
and the description is spectacles that are darkened or polarized to protect the eyes from the glare of the sun. But this contains similar images to the other class. So we have sunglasses by themselves and we also have sunglasses on people's faces like this one or this one or this one. So those two classes are actually very similar. This one here and this one here. So that explains why the inception model is somewhat confused about this. But again, as a human, if we see a picture like this, we would say, this is a man wearing sunglasses. But because the inception model is trained on the ImageNet dataset, which uses these names for the classes, this one and this one, then that is what it outputs to us when we ask it to classify this image. So we have confirmed that the problem with the inception model is indeed the dataset that it was trained on, that the textual labels for the classes are not the same as what a human would expect. So what we can do is that we can retrain or transfer the neural network from the inception model to another dataset. And that is something we will look at in another tutorial.